Big news for fans of the Lovecraftian fishing game Dredge, an announcement came out yesterday detailing the release date of the new DLC, some content teasers for that DLC, and a little trailer too. Let's check it out. We're thrilled to announce that the Iron Rig DLC will arrive to Dredge on August 15th. In case you missed the future game show summer showcase, I did. Watch our release date announcement trailer below. Boom, we'll get to that in just a second. On August 15th, you'll be introduced to a new constructible town to our dredge adventure, the Iron Rig. Uncover ancient disturbances and craft advanced equipment, items, and gadgets with the help of new acquaintances. Assist Iron Haven Corp's constructions, but remember, progress always comes at a price. That's awesome. So we have a new constructible town. That tells me that we'll be able to dredge for wood and scrap and steel and all the things we've been dredging for throughout both the main game and the other DLC and actually be able to use that stuff to build a town. That sounds awesome since there came a point pretty quickly in my f like two playthroughs of dredge where you actually just ran out of things to do with all those resources. So you collected them, put them in storage, or just trashed them because your ship was done and there was nothing else that you could do with those, uh, those dredge pieces. So that sounds really cool. Um, more details, the Iron Rig DLC features two to five hours of content playable at any time in your playthrough. Now that's a little bit more than I think the one to three hours of content that we got the Pale Reach. So we should have quite a bit of extra content coming from the DLC compared to what we got from the Pale Reach. Uncover a brand new science story, of course. Craft a new tier of equipment with eight new pieces of gear. Oh, so that tells me that for your what engines fishing pole crab pots nets there should be an entire new tier of gear that we can actually build out sounds good again new new use for the research parts that you collect throughout the game collect 50 more new fish that's way bigger than we got with pale reach pale reach had i think 11. advance to a new tier of boat hull bigger and better than before again more uses for uh for the dredge parts that we come across during the game research enhanced versions of some abilities that sounds cool because the abilities are the things that you unlock as you're you know playing through the main story of the game and they have a huge impact on the gameplay so being able to research advanced versions of those i wonder exactly how that's going to go down earn 12 new achievements <laughs> for those of you who have been playing through dredge lately you're probably well aware of those 12 new achievements because they show up as question marks on your achievement tree that drives me just a little bit batty because you can't like get 100% of the game with while feeling like you actually got 100% of the game. So I'll be looking forward to just at least when this comes out so at least I can see what those achievements are. Uh, join Iron Haven Corp's efforts to assemble the Iron Rig, but be wary, what are they truly here for? Okay, well, with that, let's watch the trailer. Okay, right off the bat, it looks like we're going to be collecting parts for Iron Haven, including a drill. We've got a big nasty fish right there. I wonder if that's going to be eating us. Some kind of accident happened. Oh, look at this. I, okay, clearly this is part of a cinematic, but at the same time, it makes me think that maybe we'll be collecting things like barrels of sludge, like a construction module perhaps that looks like maybe a pipe down here drill and i wonder if we'll actually have to organize those things just like we do our own inventory in our ship so since we're constructing this town will that involve like a new kind of tetris situation i hope so Okay, look at this elevator. So we're exchanging things that we find for looks like new upgrade parts. So that doesn't look like anything we've seen in the game before. Some kind of a new dredge hook. Again, more parts for more upgrade pieces. New fishing poles, perhaps? Yeah. Lots of delivering. And we're also delivering fish. 
to the science lab. That away, pal. Blood covered hands. Okay, so we're taking aberrant fish over to the science guy, and that's probably who is going to upgrade our abilities. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm getting new ability vibes from this guy. Injectables. We're gonna be doing drugs. Dredge, the Iron Rig DLC, coming August 15th to all platforms. Dredge Complete Edition coming August 15th. Okay. Well, that also tells me right there that we may this may be the last DLC that we get for Dredge. Black Salt Games might be finished with it. If it's the complete edition coming out August 15th, we'll probably get some patches and whatnot, but they're going to be moving on to their next game. I hope it's good. I hope it's good. Okay, so going through here, one thing that I'm not seeing is a price. So let's head over to the Dredge Iron Rig page. Yep, no price. No price listed. So we have two to five hours of content. Like I said, uh, Pale Reach was $5.99. So if the Pale Reach was $5.99, I'm expecting this to release probably about the $9.99 price point. So given that two to five hours of content, if it's $9.99, the game per hour of gameplay that you'll get out of it is somewhere between $2 an hour to $5 an hour. Kind of pricey as far as DLC goes. At least it's more than just cosmetics and it is actual gameplay. But if it's... If it's any higher than $9.99, I think I will wait until the DLC goes on sale. That's going to be depending on your own preferences, of course. If you're all about Dredge, of course, you're going to grab this thing. And if you're like me and you say, hey, $9.99 or anything above $99 is too expensive because you're paying you know, more than potentially $5 an hour for that gameplay, then you'll wait a little bit. That's it for Dredge. I'm excited for the announcement and I hope to be playing in August. And if you like the game, we recently did... A from fresh, 18 and a half hour, all achievements playthrough of the game. We did it in one sitting, and there's a compilation video linked on the page right now, somewhere here. Give it a click, like the video if you like it, subscribe if you want some more, and we'll catch you next time.